Out from the shadows. I'm Naked Ninja with another video for you guys today. This one's just gonna be a quick one showing you how to uh oh installing. Well you don't need to how to do it, just showing you that there's a new install for the Shield Experience 6.1, which adds um a bunch of other features added to the already added um smart things voice control, which if you probably updated recently and you have like a Samsung Smart Things, you can control lots of different smart things in your home just by talking to the shield and it's always listening. One thing that sucks is sometimes it actually grabs things while like you're watching Netflix or um, Google or whatnot for some weird reason it hears it and reacts to it. But anyway, so here's the upgrade. It should pop up on your shield. I'm gonna click on it and download it real quick. It shouldn't take long. Yeah, let me center this better so you guys can see it a little bit better. Sorry, but I'm just doing this on the fly right now. I don't really have anything. So let's restart to install. Let's see what we get here. Let's see how quick this is. So this is in real time. So hopefully it's not longer than 10 minutes because I try to keep my videos about 10 minutes here just because who wants a video longer than 10 minutes, you know? All right. Cool. I'm digging that, that would be fine. So far, pretty quick. Now your download might take longer for other people, it just depends on your speeds of your internet. Like, um, I get gig, so it runs pretty damn fast. And then, of course, it looks like the speed of device, of course, will keep you, make you go fast or slow for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I run faster than the speed of the light. Huh. And then you just probably heard in the back corner there, my shield's talking to me when I didn't even say anything to her. Not my shield, but my uh, Google Home. Hey, Google. Mute. <laughs> that was awesome. So freaking random sometimes. Alrighty. We're about halfway there, it looks like. I'm at four minutes. Come on now. Come on, Vomino Shield. Let's get this install quick. So the good thing is, you don't need to do like a Shield. I'm sorry, a Samsung Smart Things stick to add to your TV um, if you already have a Shield TV. Shield TV has everything integrated already with the new one, especially um, the old one's updated too to this, so it should work. Um, but you do have to get a new their new remotes because from what I've read and seen in the forums, you can't use the old remote to control your stuff. Like it doesn't listen the same way. I guess I, I don't understand it, but why would you upgrade the old one if it couldn't do everything without buying something else? But maybe that's just they want you to keep buying, which it is what it is. Almost there. 4.30 right now, so let's see what happens. But I did notice that, um, you know, when you're, say for instance, I got the Google Home behind me to the left, and then I have this in front of me, the shield, and they're about, I don't know, about 15 feet away from each other. And I can be right next to my Google Shield, I mean, sorry, Google Home right next to me and talk 
and just talk about random when I have my shield up and it pulls up on the screen exactly what I just said and the response to it. So I can, you know, tell it to do things, open things and whatnot. So it's, it's getting pretty damn cool with the integration. There we go. Restarting hopefully again. Almost there. We got 520 so far. Bet you they'll probably have a remote upgrade too that you have to do when they do this for the software. Seems like that's the way when it goes to the new talking uh, assistant for the Shield or Google Assistant is what it's called. But it's pretty sick. I mean, can't go wrong. If you can, you open an account on your Google Home account on your phone, you have a Shield as your home now. You don't have to buy really a Google Home, I guess. But, you know, I got two of them. I got one in the bedroom, one in the living room. I'm going to probably get another one. One or two, actually. And the speakers are actually pretty damn good on them. There we go. That is my cat. Always talking. Come on, Dante. Hey, Dante. No, of course he's being quiet now. I'm talking to him. All right, almost there. Come on now. Let's try to beat this 10 minute mark. I hope it's shorter than 10 minutes for everyone. Almost there. Come on. Move it, move it, move it. So it's a USB storage. So what I did is I connected a uh, just a jump drive, a four terabit actually jump drive to hold things, movies, um, music, things like that. Well, that's cool. That was it. Oh, shit, let's try something real quick. Hey Google. Hey Google. Alrighty then, it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey Google. Open up Netflix. See, it didn't do that before. See, now I just brought it up, and I didn't use a remote. Um, and my remote's actually in my hand, which is weird. They did it on the screen, but you know, let's just make turn the volume up. Hey Google, close Netflix. See, that works. Hey Google, open Hulu. Now this is what it's supposed to give you. So it's actually supposed to give you support on Hulu now, it looks like, from what I've seen in the update. Hey Google, open movies in Hulu. Hey Google, play open range. Hey Google, pause. Hey Google, pause Hulu. Hey Google, close Hulu app. Yeah, that works. Cool. Hey Google. Open up Showtime. There we go. Sweet. Well, there you guys have it. Hey, Google. Pause. Hey, Google. Close Showtime. Hey, Google. Close po Showtime. Well, there you guys have it. The new update. If you like it, thumbs up. If you... Want to see more, please subscribe. Any questions, leave a comment in the